Today we're going to practice sewing on paper to get some control. All you need to do is turn your sewing machine on and remember safety rules like keeping your fingers away from the needle. We aren't going to use any thread today. We are going to use these papers from Singer Sewing Machine that I downloaded online and that we have permission to use. The first paper that we're going to use is straight lines. And on this paper, you want to practice starting and stopping where you want. So you're going to put your needle in right on the dotted line. Needle in, turn the hand wheel towards you, press your foot down, and then you're going to slowly start your machine and just watch where the needle is going. The paper will follow. And don't hold on too tightly to the paper because that causes it to tear. So you're just guiding it and you're watching, I'm stopping, right here where the needle is going in. And you want to sew to the end of the line. And you want to try to stop at the end of the line and not go running off the paper. Now, if you don't think you can stop exactly there, you can stop and turn the hand wheel a time or two to finish the line. Lift up the presser foot and you're done. And you can take a look at the back of the paper to see how you've done. The next one we're going to do has square corners and there's all kinds of square corners here. So you're going to line it up, put your needle in, your presser foot down, and you're going to sew to a corner. And you want to try to stop on the corner. Once again, if you don't think you can, you can slowly turn your hand wheel till you get to the corner. When you get to the corner, leave the needle in, pick up your presser foot, and pivot your paper. And then turn the corner and keep going. And you sew to the next corner. And once again, if you don't think you can stop at the corner, just turn the hand wheel till you get there. Lift up the presser foot and turn the corner and continue to do the rest of the page. Needle up, press your foot up, take out the paper and you can see how you've done on the back. The next paper we're going to do has curves and curves are a little bit trickier. Take your time, slow down and line up your needle with the line, press your foot down and take your time and if the curve doesn't seem to want to turn, you can stop your machine just like you did with the corners, needle in, adjust the paper. I really think it's easier to sew curves on fabric most of the time, because here you can see exactly how straight you went, and if you get a little bit off the line, don't worry about it, just adjust. And sew to the end of the line. When you get to the end of the line, stop, one more, and there you go. The last paper we have today has three shapes, an octagon, a star, and a circle to cover all of the different types of turning, curves, straight lines, square corners, Finish all of the lines on each paper and then submit them. And you're done for the day. Turn off your machine and we're finished.